said, yeah, this is pretty awesome. Um, I've been buying stuff from Chadlam for oh, as long as I can remember. Um, it's an online shop, or was an online shop, and I suppose a year or two ago they opened this sort of presence in, uh, you know, an actual physical shop. And uh, it's an awful long way from my house, so um, it's not somewhere that I could possibly visit and uh, happened to be down this way, so uh, I thought I'd uh, call in, have a look round. Um, very interesting, very interesting. It's, uh, you know, kind of what I what I expected. Um, you know, it's re really good to see. Um, don't know if there's a ambition for it to become a chain and sort of go around the nation, that would be good. Um, as I say, this is uh, this is down in, uh, well, it's actually in Glastonbury, so uh, right on the opposite side of the country to where I'm from. So one hell of a drive. But uh, anyway, let's go and take a look around inside. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome, look at that great figure. 620 quid. Lovely. That's huge. A grand for that one. Then you know, I've got some stock in here. It's all the crawlers. Not really into that yet. My nephew does a lot of it, but uh, yeah, it's not something that I've looked at. Looks fun though. I've certainly got some stock here. All these spares. These are all Traxxas by the look of it. Yeah, they are Traxxas. Oh, F F FTX, sorry. FTX, these ones. That's how many kits. This is pretty awesome, the Blockheads one. Got this one coming up in a couple of weeks. The metal, uh, metal spec, Midnight Pumpkin, got that to build. So armor. Praxis. These look fun, don't they? These diggers. Yeah, they don't look too pricey either. This is my dream build. One of these trucks. Maybe one day. With an awful lot of money. Beautiful eye. Skeletrix. This is good. Look at this one. This is a new release, the P34. It's just unfortunate that the Skeletrix are just kind of so expensive. You know, when you're 50, 60 quid a car, you don't run them. around there. These look really good. Oh, look at that. These are awesome. A fire truck. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. It's up there, you see the train going on. It's making the noise. LGB train going on the top of the building. There's the 100 mile an hour car down the bottom there. RC car that does 100 miles an hour. And look at that for a monster. It's bigger than the Marder I've got. It's huge. Aircraft. 
club at the top there and various other bits and pieces and skeletons model railways just plug lighting system not familiar with that switched off good old Metcalf oh look at that Kato Ice no I'd really like that really really like that £234 yeah have to wait for another day got a very long shopping list here War Games Workshop. Yeah, sort of fantasy area. I've only sort of tapped into that once with the one review I did on the solid Metal Gear, Metal Gear kit. And a Warhammer. Loads of paints. I'll tell you what, I'd love a model shop like this on my doorstep. We have got some good ones locally, but they just don't have the, you know, they tend to specialise a bit. You've either got railways or you've got RC, you don't have more than one shop. Could do with a new one of these, cutting pot. Yeah, pretty cool. Might pick one of those up, I could do with a new one. A pipe of cub in the middle there. as if it's got out recently. But I did fancy the bomb bug but I can't see it on here. Yeah I've got the Saturn V rocket at the top there. Um, the Airbus Emirates, Bentley Supercharger, Walker Harrier and the Vulcan. They're pretty cool. Shells and model kits, these are all Tamiar, these look military based. Type 78, the Tyrrell, I've got that coming up soon, I've got a review on that in the pipeline. Dioramas that have got built here. They're really good, really well done, beautiful. Toys. Let's have a look at the model railways. The Isle of Wight Central Train Pack at the top there. That's pretty cool. Wasn't aware of that one. See the shelves of wagons. There's not as much, not as many trains as I thought there'd be. I mean, obviously, this is an online shop. Um, mostly, I mean, this is just a sort of retail presence. But it's, um, yeah, I've wanted to come in for a long, long time. It's in the Hornby Double Electric train set down there. £429. Pounds. The price got some down the bottom. Dapol kits. Got the rocket. Got the old, uh, I think Warmby sold this at one stage. Kitmaster. Um, the windmill, a few of them over the years. Look at that Tamiya kit. To have a mosquito. Superb. Down here. So many kits. So many kits. Loads of them. Star Trek down there, these are all aircraft. There's Y Wing from Star Wars, look. Look at that one. 
Do you know, I'm so out of touch when it comes to kits. I really am. They just seem to have gone through the roof. These I like. The Thunderbird one. These look pretty cool. Chuck out bin. Can't be a good old chuck out bin. You don't know what you're going to find in there. Mm -hmm. Look at these. Look at the fair lady at the top there. Look at the motorbikes. And racks and racks of. Different kits there. It's a Porsche for that. Cub Sport 2399, that's not too bad. And the Lotus 3999. Oh, some good, you know, they're not bad prices, not bad prices at all. I mean, when you have a look online, I, I do buy quite a lot from Jadland, uh, an awful lot actually, and their prices are very competitive and they're very fair. Um, and if you do join their sort of, I don't know what you call it, membership scheme, card scheme, whatever, this point scheme, you know, the more you spend, the more points you get with your next order. And they add up to give you 5, 10, 15, 20 pound vouchers off of the next purchase, which is pretty good. They've got some awesome kits in there, I'll tell you, I like that one. Oh, it's a puzzle. I'm not going to lean down for a puzzle. I saw the Coca-Cola truck. <laughs> well, this one's standing up, the Queen Mary 2. The London bus. The Rebel kit of the Memphis Bell. 32.99. I mean, that's not bad. Good. Autonomous. Wait, you can make all by yourself. Yeah, they're just a whole selection of U gears. The U gears? No, EWA. I've not heard of EWA. Are these rocker? Uh, they're all like U gears. I mean, you've seen you've seen a couple of the uh, if, oh, U gears are down the bottom there. Look, there's a whole rack of U gears there. They're awfully, awfully expensive U gears. You know, 60 quid. These wooden puzzles. Um, but you would have seen I've done a couple of those um, from uh, Coaster Dynamics. They do uh, wooden model kits of roller coaster cars to ride up my street. Vast selection of woodland scenics. Oh, all the moulds here. Trees and grass and the Gage Master rack. It's good to see. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The Red Bull there, but 60 cars. Mm. I've wanted these for a while. I keep seeing these around. I will get them one day, but uh, not today though. They're really, I think Batman are the ones making those. Just quite intrigued by models of bicycles. Corgi. £32 for a car. I think Corgi should price themselves out of the market now. A few green light here as well. It's unusual. We've got around the end here. Burago. Burago. It's a fair selection of Lego. Apollo Land is pretty cool. 
thing with Lego is I find it's um, a bit hit and miss. Some of it I think is absolutely fantastic, and I, you know, I enjoy a good model kit. But others of it, once they start, you know, making bricks to fit the shape of the thing, it just kind of defeats the object of the imagination of it. I mean, look at some of these kits here. Titanic, 600 pounds, Millennium Falcon, Mos Eisley, the Eagle Star Wars, and the Eiffel Tower over that there. That Eiffel Tower was absolutely huge. Now coming down, you buy a model of the Colosseum. Yeah. Batmobile on the street. And by Lego with a typewriter. It's crazy. You like the F1 car. Mustang, Ferrari. These are very popular, these kits. Yeah, very good. Let me get over here. There's more toys. We go back along these and read the label this time. So these are all armour, and they are huge. 80 mile an hour plus that one, 50 mile an hour plus, and that's ginormous, absolutely ginormous. 70 mile an hour buggies, again armour. Grave digger, that was lossy. Again armour. Look at the engineering in these. Phenomenal. And like I say, there's all these spares as well. I think you get the flavour of the shop. Little tracks of like spares on the back wall here. Markling train set. I wouldn't be worried about that. They brought out their kids' plastic one, didn't they? Not sure how well that did. They're pushing it quite hard. They took their LGB starter set, Christmas starter set. 389. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Too much for me, but not too bad. This is a bit far up there. How awesome is that? Thank you for the singing. That is pretty cool. That's really cool. What a great place. Yeah, we'll leave that one there. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.